guilty verdict in the trial of a man accused of murdering a Kansas teenager. A jury convicts Israel Morales of capital murder in the death of Emily Sander. Case Kel Thompson live at the Butler County Courthouse with the latest. Kale. That verdict was reached just about an hour ago, Susan. It was. Uh, it would took only about an hour, I should say, for the verdict to be reached. Emily Sanders' family we watched cry as the verdict came down and was read aloud in court. Today's efforts by Morales to testify in his own defense clearly didn't help him. How do you feel about what you did, running away? Better's the shame. Wasn't the right thing to do. Although Israel Morales admits the actions he took after Emily Sanders' death were not the right ones, it was not enough to save him. Ultimately, a jury convicted him of killing Sander, despite his claims he was innocent. What did you see when you got back to your motel room? Well, I opened the door and the first thing I seen was blood. Morales told jurors it was another man, possibly a drug dealer, he says came to the room trying to steal Morales' wallet. Morales says after a brief scuffle, he left the room to calm down. When he came back, Sander was dead. I've never been in a situation like that before, so I was just scared. Didn't know what to do. Morales said he panicked, loaded up his belongings, placed Sander's body in his car's trunk, and drove, dumping the body on Highway 54 in Woodson County. Why didn't you call the police? I honestly don't know why. I, didn't, I was just scared. I figured the first person they blamed was me. Prosecutors say it's all a very convenient story, but point to the evidence, like Morales' knife stained with Sanders' blood. In the end, they tell jurors nobody else could have killed her. There isn't any evidence of anyone else's DNA on the murder weapon. There's no evidence of a mystery person who showed up at the motel room. Now, Morales will be formally sentenced at the end of March. He faces life with no chance for parole.